What's up, what's up everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force, and we are checking out Two Point Hospital. This is a game that I really wanted to play when it released on PC, but I said, you know what? I'll wait for console and hope that it would come to Switch. And lo and behold, it did come to Switch, or it is coming to Switch. It releases tomorrow, February 25th for $39.99. And so I figured we'd check it out together, see if it runs well on Switch, see if it's a good, fun game. And I felt like the time was right because you're building and running a hospital and there is uh, some, some definite dangers and concerns with diseases running rampant. The whole coronavirus thing right now. Sony pulling out of PAX East. Facebook, Oculus, Sony pulling out of GDC. Kojima Productions pulling out of GDC. Uh, so what better time than now to build a hospital? At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mmm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. Clowns, ghosts, and golf. It's my kind of game. Um, I really like like sim games occasionally. It's something like I have to have the taste for. It's like a good cup of tea. You, just, you have to want it and then it's delicious. But maybe on a different day, it's like, bleh. Kind of tastes like dirty water. But right now I'm in the mood for this, and I want to build one. I, I'm actually kind of a freak. I, I liked the most recent SimCity. I know a lot of people hated that, but I had a lot of fun with it. I miss it. So I'm excited to, uh, to kick this off. This is Hogsport, and here's your first hospital. Select it and press A to get started. How do I select it? Doctor Hospital, how do I how do I pick? I have no arrow. Oh, there we go. All right, Two Point Foundation Hogsport. Begin your career as a hospital administrator. Learn the basics of the job by establishing your first hospital. All right, very, very nice. I'm a little surprised by the price point, honestly, but um, as I said, I've never played it, so I don't know how fully featured or how intense it is, so we're going to be figuring that out for ourselves together. Welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building your first hospital and cure some patients? All right, look around, pan, zoom, pitch, yada, yada. Epic tutorial skills on full display here. First thing you need is a reception desk. Patients will head here when they arrive at the hospital. Let's build one near the entrance. All right. We can build a room, we can build items, and we can build a reception desk. How much money? We got $200,000. Doing a pretty good job here. All right, I'm playing with Joy-Con. I'm obviously playing Docs because I'm recording it. Um, where is the entrance to our hospital? This is the entrance. So reception should probably go, like, kind of when you walk in, I'm guessing. I don't, is that, does that seem, like, lined up? Let's try to line this up. Oh, there we go. Okay. Got to get my, my lined upness going. I think that's pretty lined up. All right. Drop it down. Boom. Welcome to reception. My receptionist hopefully is not a ghost or a clown. We'll need an assistant. Let's hire an assistant. All right, cool. Um, oh, let's go. No, no, no. Hire an assistant. All right. Pull it up here. Hire. Do we want Thomasina Wright? No, those are doctors. All right. We need assistants. Ronald Lyon, Daisy De La Grote, or Olivia, or Olive Dabble. Dude, this guy, he's, he's good. He's funny, and he doesn't retain lyrics. Sounds like me. I never remember lyrics from songs. All right. You're going to work at reception. Um, I can, can I make him be a groundskeeper? No, okay, whoa, 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 all right, I got you, I got you. All right, you are gonna work as reception. Here we go. We need a GP's office? Goodness gracious, we're getting this up and running real quick. It's January 29th, January 19th or January 2019? I think it's January 19th, year one, all right, any year, it's year 2020. The GP will assess patients to decide if they're ready for treatment or if they require further diagnosis. Build a room, la la la, and the, oh, okay. All right, cool. We can maximize the size. Minimum room size is three by three. Drag out the floor plan. Um, what's the drag thing? How do we? It's weird noises. Um, tell me how to drag it. What what button do I hold? It probably just told me a second ago. Zoom in and out. Eh. Minimum room size is three by three. All right, well, how do I, hold on. Oh, I have to build it like square by square. I got you, I got you, okay. So we'll put this back in the corner here, I guess. We can stretch it, right? We can 
It's a little weird, the analog sticks. Obviously, this would be easier on PC, but hopefully they can get the job done. So we build this, like, can we stretch? Okay, we can stretch. All right, I'm gonna go three by four here, I guess. That's what nope, whoa, no, 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 hold on. Can I, can I shrink it? Okay, there we go, cool. That's reduction, that's addition, that's why it's a plus. I thought it was a plus for a hospital, but it's a plus for addition, for addition, all right. I'm prestiging up. Cool, there we go. All right, now we need the door. Doors are considered useful, absolutely. All right, do we want them to enter on the side or the front? Mm, probably on the side after they go past reception, right? That seems like a good idea. All right, doors are considered good. Um, an office desk and a filing cabinet. Okay, so this is uh, where they're gonna check people out. Doctor and patient. I guess they should sit in the in the, the the middle and the table can be right in the back, right? All right, drop that down. And then we need a filing cabinet for records. Right there, beautiful. Wonderful, there is our GP office. First patient's gonna be serviced within the hospital, within the hospital. All right, now we need a doctor. I love how there's hospital radio happening. A little, a little creepy. All right, I can get Thomasina right. Can I shut this up? And get ready to find out what's really going on. But first, here are some people playing musical instruments. Thank you, goodness gracious. Um, this is a person who is a class clown. Can't drive, that seems very dangerous. This person has a weak bladder and loses track of children, which also seems dangerous. A Ava Flob here, though, she's charming. She likes to argue, but she's really good at arts and crafts. All right, I guess that's the best bet we've got right now. None of them seem amazing, but, um, you know, we'll roll with her to start here. Got our first doctor, our first receptionist. Hospital is open. Patients are, oh, okay. Yeah, diagnose a patient. No, oh, wow, no going back. Goodness gracious, all right, who's coming in? Who's gonna pull up to our hospital? You wanna come? Little red car? No? Okay. I don't blame you. We've got a desk, an office, and they don't even have like a bed to treat people. Our scientist is talking to a skull. I mean, our doctor is talking to a skull, not not promising. Okay. Um, we've got hospital open, Doctor Whom, room building. Great. Staff, overview, what are these things? Oh, it's gonna show us like different stats about our hospital, like if we wanna know, you know, the hunger level. Everyone seems fed and well. Um, we can fast forward here, here comes somebody. It took him like a month to get here, basically. February 24th, it took him a day, look at that. The guy entered on February 20th and now it's February 25th. This dude is walking, it took him two days, you see that? Obviously time isn't working in real time, but how crazy that like, Okay, the days are just ticking by. He's talking. He's been standing in the hospital for three days. My my receptionist has fallen asleep. It's been four days, and he's still making his way. To the, I don't I don't know if I like that. Obviously, I know that time has to pass quicker than in real life, but that's pretty funny, isn't it? It's like six days, and he's still just what 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 in the world? Okay. Diagnose the patient. Good. He's gonna go get some pills. We diagnosed our first patient. The GPS sent you a message. Have a look at the message in the bottom right. Looks like we'll need a pharmacy. Okay. Um, our patient has grout. Grout is frequently transmitted in bathrooms. Gross. Modern medication is effective, unlike earlier times when you had to be dug out with a screwdriver. Gross. The patient is seeking treatment. We only have pharmacy in order to treat them. $7,600 to build. All right, yeah, please wait. You wait for me. I will build a pharmacy for you. My profit and loss is not doing so well. Um, pharmacy. Can I build the pharmacy in here? Okay, the pharmacy will be in the other corner. Or can I? Out. No, I guess inside. I don't really want them walking back and forth behind reception though, so I guess, I guess we'll just build it right here. Little three by three pharmacy right in the corner. It's nice. I like that. Does it need a drug mixer? It does. Ooh, wow, okay. Wonderful. Throw that down. Another guy's going to get diagnosed. 
And I need to hire a nurse to work the pharmacy. All right. Thank you for your your tips here. Ooh, Paul Comfortable. He's funny. He hoards cuddlery. Does that mean he's going to stab people? Is that like a Joker obsession? <laughs> this guy has green fingers and eats pasta disgracefully. That sounds really gross. Nausea-inducing. Wants more money. Okay, don't like that. I'll take Paul Comfortable. He's funny. Exploring past lives. He's expensive, but we'll roll with you. Myself with pendulums and pocket watches. Now we have everything we need to diagnose and cure an illness. Beautiful. I say one thing. And then another thing. It took this patient a month thing, to walk in, get diagnosed, and get his medicine, which kind of sucks, but, you know. Too. Here we go. We got to cure the patient up here, and it looks like we're doing just that, I think. He's waiting for his drugs. Um, I can speed things up if I want him to get his meds fast. There we go. He's cured. Patient cured. When a doctor or nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence... The chance of success. Some illnesses are tougher than others. Okay. Hospital reputation increases with each patient successfully cured, but decreases when someone fails or dies. Great. All right. So we got to make sure that we've got a solid success rate. Now that we've got some expensive machinery, we should think about looking after it. Machines will deteriorate. And we'll Gosh, there's a lot to keep track of and remember here. If a machine falls into disrepair, it can be a fire hazard. Fires are generally considered bad for bitten. Mm, makes sense. Hire a janitor to maintain machines. Make sure we got some fire extinguishers. Okay, cool. Some extinguishers. Alright. That guy can be thrown on the wall there. Put this one right here. I like that in the corner. And just in case a fire ever breaks out over here, one there. Um, and then we want to hire a janitor. People coming in, get sick, or get healed, I guess. Lydia is hygienic, collects limited editions of burp. <laughs> I love these little, uh, little, uh, notes about them. She's hangry, and hygienic likes to argue. Um, we'll go here. This new applicant in seven days. Let's wait, let's see what the new applicant is. People are wanting to work at our hospital. We are losing money, but we're doing good. Four days till a new applicant. It's also taking us four days to hire a janitor. Also taking us... Four days to cure people, or sometimes a month, but you know, we're working on it. Roger, nemesis. Nasty, hangry, class clown. Wow, he's nasty. I'm gonna go with Lydia. Lydia, I, I know. You, you're just gonna work here. Can I, you be a janitor? You good? All right, drop you in. We've cured five patients in total. Each cure boosts our reputation, which will attract even more patients. Keep people happy. Patients will get bored, thirsty, hungry. Okay. Food, drinks, and a comfy seat. Okay, great. So we get to build some fun stuff now. Um, a bench. A bench to wait. All right. You can wait for the doctor right up against the window. That seems nice. Um, another bench right here by the windows. Um, I'm going to put another bench. Well, I don't really want people waiting. Can I put a bench in the doctor's office? No. Okay, but I can't put one maybe outside the doctor's waiting room and right here. All right, I like that. Place a leaflet stand. Oh, for like magazines and stuff? All right. Um... Right here, I guess, by these two benches. Enjoy your leaflet and a drink machine. Okay. Right there. Snack machine, right there. Beautiful. All right. Looks like the healthcare branch of the holistics company, known to some as... Um, our receptionist is gone. Trouble again. Oh no, staff get tired as they work and eventually go on a break. A staff room will help them relax. Okay. Drinks and snacks. You make a room larger. Alright, we need a prestigious staff room. This is getting intense real quick, but I love it. I love that they're helping us, uh, you know, learn really quickly. Um, okay, we'll put the staff room behind the reception desk. I think that makes sense. We want them to have a prestigious room. It's gonna be a 4x3, as big as the doctor's office, right? There we go. Um, we'll put the staff door right there. Give them a nice freaking sofa to chill and relax. Um, let's give them a... What? A drink? Hang on. A drinks machine? And maybe a snack machine, too. Beautiful. Alright. Pop that thing down. Staff room. We'll head to staff room when they're on break. Fill the room with interesting... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You can place a member of staff in a staff room and make them take a break. Or in a work room to make them work. How you doing? Are you Okay. Can I click on him? Charlie work. Drinks and snacks are great for keeping people happy, but they can lead to littering if there are no bins. Oh no. Okay, we need trash. He is, uh, he's feeling funny. He's happy. 
He's doing okay, I think. Mm, he's, he's a little thirsty. All right, we need some trash bins. And toilets. Okay, great. It's getting intense. Now it's like a real freaking business. Um, where are the bins? The bin! Place the bin! British hospital here. Alright, we definitely want a trash can in the doctor's office too, in case someone's like, coughing, sneezing, hurling. Um, let's encourage people to recycle by putting a trash can right here as well, and another one. Right... There. And just one over in the corner for eventually when we, maybe, you know, build something else. Um, alright, toilets now. Is toilet a separate- toilet's gotta be a separate room, right? Yeah, okay. Toilets! Alright, put the bathrooms off to the side. I don't really want people having to deal with the bathroom while they're sick. Um, okay. That's good. Door can be right here on the side. Oh, wow. You need a pretty big bathroom if you want to have enough- that's just one toilet. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Um... I need to- I need to make this bigger. Alright, hey, I made $900! We're profitable, baby! Alright, and then I'm gonna... I'm gonna extend this back to here. Big bathroom for our facility. Ooh, it's a prestige level 2 a toilet. How do you like that? Alright, put the door here. And then let's get the toilet cubicle- whoa. Like, that person's walking right through my bathroom. But, uh, it's because it's not technically there yet. Alright, so put one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, we need some sinks for people to wash their hands. And then we need hand dryers over here. And we need double duty trash can by the door. Beautiful, there we go, look at that! Oh, I, I get such a satisfaction when you get like the little like sound effect that like doo 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 builds your, builds your beautiful building. Makes you feel all nice and cozy, something new and fresh. It's like when you get a text, your like, brain just responds to that positive sound effect. We're hearing reports of some new illnesses in town, there might be hard, this might be harder to diagnose. We may need to build a new diagnosis room. Okay, general diagnosis. We do have a lot of people rolling in here. It is September, by the way, did you know nine months pass since I built the bathroom. As you expand the hospital, the more rooms the hospital level increases, the larger hospital attracts more patients. As the hospital gets busier, queues may start to get long. Okay, wow. A bigger hospital is a better hospital. Okay. Sometimes. Um, get hospital level three. What can I build here? Um, a general diagnosis. It's a three by three. I guess we'll put it right by the doctor's office, right? Gosh, my, my, like, what gets goofy about me is my symmetry. My, like, obsessive symmetry. I want it to make everything, like, symmetrical, but... You know, sometimes it can be hard. Okay. General diagnosis. What do you need in here? Oh, this is where we're going to put an examination table. An easy scan station and a table. Beautiful. And I'm going to give them a bin in here as well. You know, we just don't, we don't want stuff to start getting gross. Okay. All right. The hospital is level three. Keep increasing. The receptionist is... Angry, he's making. Look at the reception. He's like making arm farts in the in the staff room. There's a peculiar new illness, lightheadedness. We're gonna need some expensive new. Uh, really? I was impressed wow. by how experimental the acts were okay. until I realized it was facing the two nurses and, and the also a new receptionist. Maybe the queuing up here, not good. All right, um, let's hire another doc. Wait, let's build another GP office, I guess first. I, I don't really want it to be by the bathroom, but we're kind of... Where do we want to go at this point? Can we expand the hospital in general? If I, like... No, I can't. Okay, it has to be within. Um, by, I don't really want to put it by the bathroom, but I kind of didn't use my space all that well. Okay, we'll put it over here, I guess. Nurse to general diagnosis. Okay. That can go there. That can go there. Filing cabinet can go there. And the bin can go there. Alright. And we need to hire a new doctor. Alright. 
Let's make sure we make the right choice here. Frobisher Beige. Amazing name generator in this game. Will work for peanuts. Loves pudding. Um... This guy is a fast learner but a weak bladder. Dude, this guy is... He's the boy next door. He hoards cutlery, which is... Why is he hoarding knives? But he's incredibly good. Oh, he's a fantastic doctor. He's gonna cost me a lot of money. But I kind of want someone who's really, really good. Okay, you're, you, you're gonna be my star doctor. It's expensive, but... You know, it's the way to go. Um, this person has a huge queue. We need to build... Okay, we need to... Ex here. No, I need to expand this room. Um, the pharmacy. Yeah, the pharmacy. Um... Yeah, let's see if we can build it bigger. Okay. Alright, and then let's put another... Can I put another drug mixer in? Um... No, but I am gonna get another nurse to work in here. Whoa. Sell invalid items. Sure, I don't know what that meant, but alright. There's an item causing our bin co Oh. The bin is not supposed to be here, I guess? Alright, we'll just move it. There. Beautiful. Okay. Um, they need another nurse desperately. People are gonna leave. They're all queuing up. Bella Burp? Okay, I gotta probably go with, uh, Angelina- Angela Hurricane. Alright, cool. Um, unlock the Deluxe Clinic. Okay. What? We got a lot of messages here. Nurse Angela's unable to get where they want to be. What? Item controls, staff promotion. Misery Guts? Ugh, our doctors have discovered misery guts. Chronic grumpiness due to a nihilistic semicolon. That's disgusting. Okay. Everyone's all right, right? Okay, we probably need more benches and stuff. I gotta, I gotta take care of my people. All right, here. I have a bench here. All right, so let's put the bench outside the waiting room right here like this. And also right here, you guys can chill. Um, I'm gonna give you also another leaflet stand so you guys can read your nonsense. And what's happening? Oh, frozen saving frame rate hitch. Oh, my year. We're getting an award. Hey, Doctor of the Year. Wow, it's like the Dundies. So freaking fancy. They put halt on the whole hospital to present the awards. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Who won Doctor of the Year? Oh my goodness. Who's it gonna be? I have two doctors. This is crazy. The Burp Award for Doctor of the Year is Dr. Ava Flom. $5,000 prize. Nice. Wonderful, Ava. I'm so proud of you. You beat out the dude who's like a cream of the crop. Our next award goes to Nurse of the Year is Paul Comfortable. Wow! Alright, let's open all of them. Here we go. No deaths. Most prestigious hospital. Didn't have a janitor of the year or an assistant of the year. Nah, that's okay. Alright. Cool, cool. We got so many things. Okay, what is happening? Staff promotion, misery guts, ward required, bed face. So these are all fake illnesses. I love it. Didn't know that was gonna be the case, but bed face. Caused by sleeping at a strange angle. Doctors always recommend always using a bed protractor. Wonderful. Um, we need a ward. Okay. Get the patient to wait. Okay. Oh, promote the staff, yes. Okay. Get pay okay, I need to build this freaking ward right now. Um Ward is like where six people, sick people are gonna chill. Should we put it over by the bathroom? By the staff room? It has to be a oh, wow, well, the ward has to be pretty big. It's a four by three space. I guess we'll put the ward in this corner. Not really nice to have everyone who's sick, you know, hang out right by the door, but you know, that's what we gotta do. Alright, we need a nurse station in the back corner. We need a, oh god, a creepy ward bed. And we need a few medical beds. For them, people to chill and relax. Um. Okay. Great. Drop it down. There we go. Sell the trash can. Wards can be used for diagnosis to treat a range of illnesses. A nurse is required to admit each patient, look after them, and discharge them. Okay. All right. I need to probably get another nurse in here. Paul Kitten. All right. Thought until recently that Ricky Hawthorne was dead, likes to argue. Grumpy? Why do these people all stink? Hygienic has good memories. Yeah, Barney Grumble. Alright, Barney. You can work in here. Wait, who's this nurse? Who's who working over here? Oh, this guy's looking for work. Okay. The line is really long at the prescription machine, but I don't think I can build another... 
Oh gosh, another new illness has been discovered? By completing objectives and challenges, our organization earns kudosh. We can use this to gain access to new items. Take a look at the item. Okay, wow. This is getting intense. Like, there's so much going on all at once. All right, um, I've got 90 kudosh you can see in the bottom right corner. So we could buy like a bamboo bench, a sophisticated bench, a silver bench, a purple bench. Energy drinks machine seems great. I'll wait till I get 100 kudosh for that. These people are waiting. They want balloons. This guy's got lightheadedness. These guys are all chilling. We have no receptionist. Um, our, our nurse is like literally wandering around. These people are... Okay, we need a, probably a bench for them over here, I guess. Man, this there's a lot going on. Hey, it's a lot of work to uh, to run a hospital. <laughs> All right, sit at the bench, yo. Um, and we need another bench here in case these people are like. All right, our doctor is a diagnosed patient with lightheadedness, but it requires a deluxe clinic. Okay, we need to build a deluxe clinic. Um, how big is that gonna be? Janitor, to repair drug mix. All right, I guess we don't need a huge. I guess we can just build a corridor and put it here, right? Hang on, hang on. Whoa, no, no, no. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's get a door going. Put the door the on this back side. Need to relax more. Okay. Find a hobby. If the you luxo lux. Please this is to cure the patients. I'll keep you posted on how my search and goes. A console. Things better than my last hobby. To run the machine. Traffic cones. Okay. We'll give him a bin as well. And I guess a fire extinguisher in case this machine goes haywire. And a plant to make the patients feel better about their freaking weird operations, right? Okay. The Lux Clinic built. And we need a doctor to work it. Oh, this is multitasking to the max. Tex Badger? He cheats at board games, but he's charming. I'm gonna roll with him. Okay. That dude has a literal light head. <laughs> a literal light head. I, I didn't know it was gonna be so, like, charming and silly. I thought it was gonna be more, like, serious. But all the diseases are goofy. And, uh, it's... It's probably better for that. It would be pr a pretty dismal game if you're like, people are getting, like, actual diseases. This stinks. This is much more manageable and, and happier. People, are, I think, are doing pretty well overall. We are running a, uh, a decent ship, I think. I feel like we might need another receptionist, but... The, stay still. the pharmacy, I wish we could, you know, I wish we could add another drug mixer, but we, like, seemingly cannot. It's just one per. In which case, that pharmacy doesn't need to be so big. Our first patient death! What? And they can haunt the hospital? Who died? What did they have? We have so many treatment facilities. Who's this? Who is this? Hey, who is this? Okay, what's happening? Barney Grumble is ready for promotion? All right, cool. Who is this doctor that's wandering? Who are you? Ava Flob, where, where are you working? All right, why aren't... Ava Flob is working. She doesn't seem to know where to work. Why is she so... Why is Ava Flob so confused? I'm making money, though. I mean, I know we could be a non-profit, but we're, we are profitable, which is good. Everything seems to be running pretty smoothly for now. Minus that patient that died. All right, what could I build for people that they might like? I want more of that currency so I can get, like, a cool energy drinks machine or luxury snacks or amusing snacks. $6,000 we made on prescriptions. Expensive. All right, we kind of just, I guess, like, let things roll their course as we're trying to cure some illnesses. I spread everything out. That might have been a mistake. I thought, you know, we could expand the hospital pretty easily, but maybe that comes with uh, with significant upgrades as you progress. Hmm. Two light headers have been cured. The light bulbs have been unscrewed and placed back in their appropriate locations. This dude's happy and diagnosed. Nurse to the pharmacy. 
Making even more money? This guy really has to go to the bathroom. You see that? Oh my goodness gracious. Holding it for a long time. The janitor is now banging away at the drug mixer, which I guess is good. Um, I guess we should probably put a fire extinguisher. It doesn't cost us really anything. We probably should put one in here. Alright, quickly pause and resume time. Let's put one in every room just to be safe, right? Do we have one in the ward where there's big, big stuff? There we go. I don't like that no one is in here, but... Okay. Are we short of doctor? Or are they just chilling? This guy is gonna die. Please go get your prescription, man. Okay, he's he just died. Treatment failed, and now he's a ghost. Oh my god. Another patient died. What are you doctors doing? He had lightheadedness and he let him die. I admire a station manager's Oh, that seems so sad. The most callers we've ever had in a day was six. Two of them were wrong numbers. Can I hire a new assistant? Doctor needed in GP's office. Alright. Let's have another receptionist here, please. So we're good. Can someone get cured of lightheadedness, please? Our deluxo lux needs to be fixed, I guess. Where is our doctor in the main GP area? I'm a little concerned. Someone is taking a long bathroom break. It's kind of gross you can spy on them. I think that's our doctor. Hey, after you wash your hands, can you please go back to the GP? Yeah, what's going on, guys? Hustle up. All right, this person's lightheadedness. We need to cure them to, to move on to their objective. Staff will be happier. Patients will be happier if you fill the rooms with more interesting things. Like a snack machine in the hospital? Okay. Like if you want to buy a drink. Oh, invalid item for the room. Can we put it in the doctor's office? Invalid for the room. Okay. What about in the bathroom? What about in the ward? <laughs> okay, well, fine then. Trying to help you guys out, but you don't want to be helped. So far, we kind of reached a point where we're just kind of chilling now. Oh. Above view. Maybe we will just move to a bigger hospital. You know how it said, like, this is our first hospital? Maybe eventually we're going to get another hospital. Alright, now someone's finally staffing this room. Okay, that's good to know. Good to see. Recep even though I've split the work between two receptions, still sleeping on the job. Still goofing on the job. All right, this person's about to get cured. Yes. Take off your light bulb. Oh my god, we literally removed their head. Giving them a new head. Okay. Dangerous procedure to be running at like a little regional hospital, but okay. Beautiful. Done. Dear hospital minister, your hospital is awarded a one-star rating. That's one out of three. I have retrieved your file from my bin to celebrate. Continue to develop your enterprise in Hogsburg for further esteem and trinkets. We've got 100 kudosh, 10,000 other bonus, lower bollocks, light-headed poster. Woo! I dare you. All right, now I've got 190 of this jub-jub currency. What is this? Oh, you can return to the map and see what's going on. Not quite sure what that means. Oh, there's other hospitals we can work on. Um, I really wanted the energy drinks machine. Oh, it's 200. I thought it was 100. I must have misread it. The benches are 100. Um, let's put a poster about lightheadedness here. Like, please, people, it's, take this stuff seriously. Okay. Um, I guess let's check out. Everything seems to be working smoothly. Let's go back to the map. All right, I'm, I'm very curious what happens when we go. Oh. Still the dude who's in charge of the radio station. Watch out for the gathering of druids down at Grog Ben's ring. In a total coincidence, oh, Lower Bullocks is a new hospital. Okay, so you're managing a bunch of hospitals at Two Point Hospital. More like two, three, four, five point hospital. Not just one point. Okay, so you can build this one up and build that. Begin your career as hospital administrator. What is this one? Expand the organization by establishing a second hospital. All right, let's try that. Give that a roll. Interesting, interesting. What do you guys think of the game so far? I think it's pretty darn cool. I will say, like... Maybe a hospital is less exciting than a city because while the variables might be just as, like, 
plentiful. It's at like a smaller scale. Like you're worrying about people like walking into rooms instead of like, oh my gosh, like more of a macro scale of like cars. And, and I think I might like macro a little better. But if you're if you're more of a micro person, like you like the Sims or you like say like Sim Hotel or things like that, where you're managing like more of an intricate um, space, this might be even more for you. Welcome to Lower Bullocks. It's a lovely little village. The big problem is a significant proportion of the population believe themselves to be rock stars. <laughs> Psychiatry. Only doctor with a psychiatry qualification will be able to diagnose and treat people in a psychiatry room. We've managed to find one, but you should keep your eyes peeled for job applicants. Okay. Alright, great. So we gotta build a psychiatry office here. Psychiatry. My bad. That's what we're talking about. Um, oh, this hospital has a double bubble entrance. Nice. Or it just has a back lawn. I see. Alright, put the psychiat psychiatry office here. Might as well just go all the way to the wall. The door. The armchair. A little, uh, little cool chill out and talk to me station here. Give him some space. Um, we'll give him a bin. Alright, and we'll uh, definitely don't want lightheadedness to spread to this location. So let's, uh, let's put that together. Wonderful. We've been contacted by Bungle Technologies, who run various research hospitals across the country. They have an interesting proposition. Their psychiatry license was recently revoked. Oh, gosh. They want to send us psychiatry patients in exchange will allow us to buy some technology. Okay, cool. Let's build up the hospital a bit while we deal with some of the psychiatry. Psychiatry! Goodness gracious! Words! Okay, what do you want us to build? What'd you give me? Staff? Okay. Oh, well, they're saying, like, just build stuff up while that happens. Okay. So we'll build the staff room in the back corner here. Good drinks, snacks, Unattended bags will be taken by staff. extinguisher. I'm pretty sure that the people in here would appreciate a plant, so we'll put that there. Alright, oh, this is our GP office. Oh, we definitely probably want a pharmacy, but we can make the pharmacy small. I'm, I've lesson learned from my first hospital, right? There's not so much you can do there. You just throw in the drug mixer, they only get one freaking drug mixer. So, if you only get one, might as well make it count, right? Alright, drop that in. Let's hire a nurse. I'm getting the hang of this, right? When it kind of gets going, it's pretty fun. Magnus Sandwich. Jackie Fast is like a phenomenal nurse. Um, Daisy Funkel. Yeah, let's, let's you know, it's a, a psychiatry hospital. Psychiatry, what is the word? <laughs> Psychiatry. Psychiatry. Tomato, tomato. We just need multiple there. These people are all waiting. They've got appointments. Um, let's put a bench over here. Why is it whenever you clip your nails in front of a computer, one of the nails always flies into the cracks of your keyboard? Gross, man. Does the keyboard feed on them? I don't know. No one knows. Okay. Hospital's going good. What do they say here? New illness. Mock star discovered. Patients believe themselves to be one of the greatest rock stars ever. Okay, I like that look. It's just all X's and O's, baby. That's what games are. Alright, let's speed up this hospital here. I hope my other hospital's doing well. I hope they'll give me alerts if my other hospital's having problems. If it's problematic, we, uh, we want to know. We've got a lot of people in yellow jackets. I guess they're all musicians, that's why. This hospital is full of psychos. Um, okay, we have, do we have a janitor here? We have one, we do have one janitor, okay. All right, this hospital is operating at a loss, which is not great. Um, but let's, um, let's build a new... Okay, let's build another office. I think that makes total sense here. Given that this is the psychiatry hospital. Right? Gonna 
build these kind of similar here. Fire extinguisher in case people get upset. A plant and a poster. Don't get lightheadedness. It's disastrous. Trust me. I learned it at my other hospital. New technology. A new drug mister. Okay. The upgraded machine only a janitor. The mechanics qualification. Select the machine and choose the upgrade option. Sweet. All right. But first, let me hire a second doctor here. Has potential positive season ticket holder at the sloop. All right, you are positive. I'm gonna get you in here. Um, all right, so we click our machine, upgrade our machine. There we go. All right, janitor is over here. Ned Cumberland is coming over to make it better. Hopefully this helps things out. He's working on it. We've got a second psychiatrist, but they're, I don't know, taking a bathroom. Oh, we probably should build a bathroom. All good facilities need a toilet. Right, um, put it here. People are gonna be kind of like, man, really gotta go to the bathroom after, uh... After that, the door can be here. All right, toilet. All right. Sink. Hand dryer. Bin. Doctor required in psychiatry. Extinguisher. Beautiful. All right, people should be happy about that. Machines almost upgraded. The nurse is really excited. We have so many musicians here that all think they're the greatest ever. Good thing we built a second office here. But where are the docs? Are they just chilling? This doctor is trying to get back to the op uh, office. Okay. Great, the machine's upgraded. Make sure you've got a few fire extinguishers dotted around to keep a pressure machine safe. Continue expanding the hospital and lock some more technology. Buy another plot of land here. Ooh, we can buy a plot of lands. What is a pan's lab? Pan's labyrinth? Collect, trade, and snack with morsel men. Awesome. Who will you what is a pan's lab? Pandemic. Oh gosh. That's getting a little uh, a little realistic, right? Reverend Shedder. Can I get an email? Muscle man, I don't like it there. I can't build it there because of the, the door, the window. Blech. I can't obstruct the door, right? Can I just bulldoze the door? Erg. Okay, let's try it this way then. No. Dang it. Yeah, stop in. What does my mail say? Verbal diarrhea? Goodness gracious. That's a thing. Okay, upgrading the machines, contract new buildings, to buy up. Okay, we can buy plots of land. Um. Can I buy like this? Can I buy. I can buy someone's house? Oh, so we can just build out the hospital. $50,000. All right, sure, let's expand this hospital. Goodness gracious. Ugh. It's an expensive upgrade, but it should hopefully help us build our uh, pens lab, pans lab over there. Um, we are making money at this hospital. We're running a little low on cash. This one's not doing as well, but it's doing a pretty good job. And... That's a very big space, so this is a kind of a smaller space. We got a lot of people waiting. Let's give them another bench. How long has it been? Oh my gosh, it's almost been... I thought it'd been like 20 minutes. It's been 45. Well, that's a sign of a, a very addictive game, right? You just get kind of lost in all of it. The building is open. Consider hiring another doctor. Okay, I don't know why we need more doctors. There's two offices, two doctors, but... Um... I would love for you to work here. I guess we'll hire another. This hospital is ready to go. Jackie Fast has a request for us. What do you think? I've always wanted to see a large sum of money in person. What? Earn $100,000? Sure? Goodness gracious. Why is she obsessed with that? Alright, from here we have to just build a, uh, a lot of stuff going on. Um, I guess I'll build our pans lab. Back in the corner here. Okay. 
Wow, that looks kind of terrifying, honestly. I don't know what this is, but it looks kind of terrifying. You, like, step in and... Holy cow. I don't know if I like the looks of this, but, um, alright. Don't know what that is, but, um, okay. It's supposedly gonna heal people. Potentially. Alright, we need a reception desk. I'm guessing we need a reception desk over here, right? Can't hurt, can it? Okay, I'm guessing we need a doctor for this, right? Um, new applicant coming at ya. Homer Bucket. He's terribly dull. That's exactly what we want. You run reception. Terribly dull receptionist. Beautiful. Back to a new doctor app. Wilbur Periwinkle. The boy next door. He's unhygienic, but... I, I, these other guys are so expensive. Alright, I guess we'll have Ned Chutney. He's probably better to run this. There's a key oh wow, we have a lot of people here. Okay. Another psychiatry room. Um, Alright, we'll build a tiny one right Welcome here. Welcome back to your favorite radio station with the vastly overqualified Sir Nigel Bickleworth. I'm here to inform, to entertain, and to bring some small measure of sophistication to your drab little lives. Should any of you have any requests for popular tunes, as I believe people like to call them, do not hesitate to repress that impulse. I have no intention of playing any of that drivel. Alright. He's got a queue of six people, so another... Another room and bench should be most delightful. I do finally have- okay, I can get energy drinks. Thank goodness gracious. Alright, let's go unlock that energy drink machine. I've been waiting for you, baby. Energy drinks machine, unlock it. Alright, and where's our staff room? Okay, you guys need en everyone needs energy drinks. The staff in particular. Okay. Boom. Get your energy drinks. Get your energy drinks, people. Okay. We are not going to make our money, and we have no one over here working in the lab. I guess people don't know that the hospital is over here, or they don't need pandemics yet, I guess. I don't really know. This person is looking for what? What are you looking for? Doctor required in psychiatry. Um, our doctor- Lazy Bones. Okay, Deluxe- Oh my god, they want- Okay, here, we'll give you a pay raise. There you go. Sure, I forgot to get the other guy's pay raises. Um, we failed your request. Okay, so they want, um, a ward here. Wow, okay. Let's put the ward over here. We built this extra part of the hospital for a reason. We just need people to come to it. Oh, no! We got lightheadedness! Oh, my goodness. We can't have that. We can't have that everywhere. <laughs> put bins everywhere okay and then they also want us to build I don't have the money for it okay you can create a copy of an item in the hospital that's pretty nice so this hospital now is flowing but we do have freaking lightheadedness here which is a struggle bus they've got to wait everywhere this hospital is booming the pens lab is booming we could build a oh goodness we could build a uh Ah, our deluxe clinic now we can build back here in the back corner. Oh no, another new illness. Okay, let's just make it a really deluxe clinic. It's ultra deluxe. Go cure yourself at the console. Doctor will stand here. And we'll give you a bin and an extinguisher, of course. I can't even have wait. Okay, it's alright. It's good. Oh my god, the room is unaffordable? A patient has given up waiting for the clinic! No, I'm trying to build it! How much does it cost? Tw oh, 21000 I currently only have $18,000. We gotta wait. Oh gosh, this is a rough wait. People are being angry and sick at this time. 19000 And I've got mail coming in. Come on. Okay. Construct that bad boy. Check our stuff. 
new illness, VIP patient, sure, come on in. Pan's lab, promotion, give him a better salary. I didn't realize we had to give better salaries. Staff ch okay. Game is getting crazy. There's a lot to manage on now a micro and macro level. This is pretty intense. And at the same time, guys and girls, we can uh, go back to our map and look at other hospital. Um, so we've got this one. This one's over here. Is it still doing its thing? Oh, maybe time paused. I think time might have paused because it says it's only been a year and nine months. So time must have stopped. I can go back and forth between hospitals and eventually it looks like I'm going to get bigger, better hospitals with more and more interesting things. So that is two point hospital. What do you guys think? It's pretty darn cool. Obviously it has to be your cup of tea, sim, more micro than macro. Uh, but there's a lot of charm here, a lot of humor and a lot going on. Um, and I'm sure that the game will continue to just expand and expand and expand as you grow and gain uh, more machines, more currency, more tech, more patients, more diseases, and continue to uh, flood you with things to do. And I like that you have multiple hostels. You can kind of jump in and they have different like save spots. Yeah, that's pretty darn neat. All right, so that's 2.0 hospital. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Check it out on Switch now if you'd like. Until next time, everybody, have a fantastic day. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest from the Switch. Be good to yourself and others out there. I love you a lot. Until next time, Switch Force out.